Toma time! What is going on guys? Toma Tales here and today I want to bring you guys another video. A video that, you know, something I've been thinking about for a while because it's a big, big problem and you see it all over the internet videos of black people shooting each other, shooting random people that you know at the gas station robbing them stealing cars beating up elderly people stomping out people i mean the, the videos that are coming out on social media are just insane and uh i've lived in america now for 10 years and i've seen my own fair share of things that have opened my eyes to what is happening you know with society in america and so I want to speak on it today, and uh, just a little background, I was born and raised in Germany, I lived there from birth to 13 years old, and uh, as soon as I, you know, moved from, from Germany to America, I uh, went to middle school in Florida, and uh, middle school in Florida was, it was an eye-opener because in Europe, you know, I went from schools where no one ever cursed, no one ever got into fights, and if they did, they would never throw punches, they would just wrestle and push each other. But as soon as I went to America, you know, I just remember I was sitting in the lunchroom, and uh, guys, Florida's pretty ghetto, pretty hood, a lot of parts of Florida, and so it was a ghetto-ass middle school, and uh, everyone was cursing in the lunchroom, screaming. I remember, like, my first few days, I was just in the lunchroom like this. Because I didn't want to hear the curse words. I, I was just, I was upset. I was frightened. I, I, it was a culture shock. And uh, I remember throughout, you know, middle school, I would just see so many, like, black kids fighting each other, throwing punches, something I'd never seen before. Because you don't really do that in Europe. You know, it was just different. And uh, even this one time, this big black girl, she fucking fought the hall monitor once. Just insanity, um, something that you're not accustomed to in Europe um, because we're not as violent, we're not as animalistic, we're not as inhumane. One thing that it's just I've noticed and is so blatantly obvious is that a lot of black people hate white people. Um, this is not me speaking out of distaste for them, it's just they just hate us and uh, I truly don't know why um, I serve um, in, in uh, Tennessee and uh, anytime I get black people customers um, especially the younger crowd I greet everyone the same with the same energy passion and kindness because you know I don't care what color you are I'm gonna greet you the same and uh, every time I go to a table with black people they barely say hello they look at me like they just don't like me, they don't like my skin color, they have something against me and I can tell, and uh, they barely say thank you, they barely acknowledge me when I bring them their food, and uh, they barely tip as well. It's just, I have realized over the past 10 years of living in America that white, some white people may be racist towards black people, but uh, I'm personally not racist towards black people, but they are racist towards me is what I've noticed. They uh, they judge me for my skin color, they show me no kindness, no, you know, no respect, no anything. And uh, it's something that is shocking for me because in Europe, we don't really have that discrimination. Uh, race is not such a big issue. There's black people, there's Turkish people, there's... Bengali people, there's any, th Europe is full of different races, but race is not propped up to the extreme like it is in America, and uh, I'm not sure why race is such a big issue here, I mean, we have history, obviously, but that has nothing to do with me, that has nothing to do with a lot of people, you know, you're supposed to treat someone like you don't know them, like there's no prejudice behind them when you first meet them, you know, you, if you don't know someone, you shouldn't, you know, have things in your head about them unless they give you a reason to. I mean, a lot of black people want to say we're racist because we judge them by the way they look, but that's not racist. If you see any skin color walking down the street with pants sagging to their butts so you can see their underwear and they don't look like they're well taken care of, 
doesn't matter what color you are. Of course you're going to think, you know, oh, maybe this guy's a little dangerous. Or oh, maybe I should keep my distance a little bit, you know. But, uh, that's, that's where we're at now. Everyone's racist for speaking out. That's why no one speaks on any issues anymore. We're all silent. We're all quiet. We're all scared. But, uh, it's just, it's gotten to a point where I don't, I don't understand, you know, how a lot of black people, especially the ghetto, you know, hood black people, have strayed so far away from human. Um, you see these videos where they're literally stomping out elderly people because, you know, they talk back to them. Or you see these videos where there's like, you know, s there's like a bunch of black people on the street blocking the roads or something just going crazy. And, you know, someone gets out of the car and tells them to like move out of the way and they just start beating them down, you know, not even just one or two punches until they're on the ground, no one still on the ground, they're just destroying their head, kicking them in. Uh, just a new video every day of black people going to the gas station, just shooting up a clerk because he didn't hand the money, or just... There's, uh, you guys have seen it, I mean, if you're on Twitter or you you know, anything like that, you see all the craziness that's happening in America, and I'm not accustomed to it. it I'm not, you know, we don't have that in Europe. Weapons aren't prominent in Europe. You're not allowed to have guns. There are no guns in Europe. And uh, that's not saying I don't like guns. I think guns can be necessary. But we're at the point where black people are just taking it to a level of, you know, they're in an argument. They're whipping out a gun. They're shooting you. Uh, man, it's it's very scary and it's dangerous. And uh, I don't know. You know, this is why I'm talking to you guys because maybe you can shed some light because the things I wonder is like why black people? Why have they become such a such a problem in society that they're stealing cars? I mean, I got my car stolen like three weeks ago. I don't live in the best neighborhood, and uh, this is not me saying that. Oh, fuck this, fuck black people for stealing my car. You know, not at all. Um, I'm stupid enough to have left my car open, and they're smart enough to take my car, so I don't hold it against them. But this is just an example of where we are in a society where, you know, you leave your car open, it's getting stolen by a black person. You uh. You go to the wrong neighborhood, you're getting robbed by a black person. And, uh, it's a very, very interesting because I want to know what led to this point. I know that not having father figures in the household is a big reason why. Because, uh, if, you know, you have a strong father that raises you, they'll teach you respect, they'll teach you motivation, they'll teach you to want to be a good person and strive for something. But uh, a lot of black people, especially in the hood and ghetto, they don't have that because dudes are just impregnating anything and anyone and so the kids are left to fend to the streets and now we have a society of I hear gunshots maybe once a week or even more in my neighborhood you know at night it's it's dangerous and uh you can say it's racist for seeing someone in the street that's black and being afraid of them it's it's not racist it's what we're seeing with our own eyes uh black people you've done this to yourself and uh I don't know why you hate white people so much I mean you go to like Chicago or you know Tennessee Detroit and you go to a grocery store that has like a black clerk most of them they just they barely say hi they look at you like you're a problem they give you so much attitude when all I care about is just being a human to you and they can't be the same they can't return that favor and so uh yeah I just this whole this whole racist this racist that in, in truth all I've experienced with racism from black people uh and uh for no reason because I don't you know, give that back to them. I uh, treat everyone, you know, the way I would want to be treated until they give me a reason not to. Another thing I've noticed is, gosh, black people are such, such crybabies when it comes to playing the race card, playing the, oh, you don't like me because I'm black. Oh, I didn't get this job because I'm black. Oh, she didn't, this white girl spoke to me, didn't like, you know, give me the time of day because I'm black when most of the time it's because of how you are dressed, how you carry yourself, and how you behave in public. We don't dislike you because you're black. Your skin color is black. What's so bad about black skin? No, it's what comes behind it. It's what your people are doing every single day that gives us cause for pause, you know? And uh, so the first thing you shouldn't do is th if someone doesn't treat you with the respect you know you want to be treated with is think it's because you're racist. If they're racist, it's because if you're dressed a certain way or have your pants down or you know just don't look like you are a part of society then you can't get mad of some people being 
cautious of you. That's just reality. So many people are getting racism confused with reality. We live in a world where black people have no regard for, for life. I mean, if you're on the internet, you see what they're doing. They're shooting each other in the head over and over with no remorse. I saw this video the other day where this black guy was robbing this convenience store. And it was this Indian guy, and he literally just got behind the counter, hands up, said, take whatever you want. Even reached out f uh, under a certain spot, gave him some more money he didn't even need to. He was, as he was just standing there, black guy just shoots him in the back of the head, kills him, and walks away. Didn't need to kill him. And that's just one example of all the things you see happening in America, where uh, black people are making, you know, this country very, very unsafe. I mean, it's not the white people robbing cars. It's not the Asian people robbing cars. It's not the... Spanish people robbing cars. It's the black people that are robbing cars. It's the black people that are robbing stores It's the black people that are shooting, you know each other and other people and uh, You know, it's not racism for pointing this out. It's the truth How many videos do you see online of black people doing insane inhumane things compared to white people or any other race? It's it's not comparable and then black people wonder why we as a humankind not just white people are cautious towards them now, obviously, this is specifically directed towards the black people who are more hood, more ghetto, that don't, you know, act like they're part of society because, you know, I have nothing against or any prejudice against a black person that upholds himself like any normal person in society. You know, I treat them with respect and they also treat me with respect. It's a big difference because, you know, normal black people who've been raised well, they perform, they act just like any other race they're normal humans i don't see them as monkeys or animals just because their skin color is black no you know that's only the ghetto people that are seen like animals because they act like you know inhumane something that's not human they shoot each other in the head they beat up old people for saying anything it's like they want a reason to hurt people you know they wait for them to say a trigger word and then they just go at them even though they're defenseless old or just anything and they and they don't black people black people do not like to fight one-on-one -on -one. they always attack in groups and uh it's very frustrating because there's they're so like it's just so mentally weak to hurt other people in groups especially the elderly it sickens me when i watch these videos of like you know there was this one video where there was this riot and uh not even a riot it was just this get together that uh i'm not sure what it was in, it was in uh Oakland and there's a bunch of black people just going crazy in the streets blocking traffic and this one older white man got out of the car and they like asked him to leave and f like 10 of them just started beating him up throwing him to the ground kicking in his head while he was already unconscious and seeing these videos I just can't wrap my head around it we don't we don't have these things happen in Europe people are human people care about other people's lives and uh, I don't understand why black people, ghetto black people, they don't care about other people's lives. It's a, they live in a different world is how I feel because I could never hurt someone that's over 50 or 60, you know? That's just, no matter what they say to me, you know, whether I'm German, whether they call me a Nazi, I don't care. That's not a trigger for me to beat someone unconscious, you know? It, it's their problem if, if they're racist, it's not my problem. You know, I won't make their problem my problem. You don't fight hate with hate. And I think black people just have so much hate in their in their hearts from things they see on the news, the media, and they truly, truly believe everything, and they eat it up. I didn't fucking do anything to you, you know, I, I'm white, that's the only thing I've done to you in your own eyes, because, you know, I've never enslaved you or whipped your grandparents or any of this wild stuff that, that's being taught to you guys and giving you guys so much anger. And uh, I don't even think they're that angry about slavery or any of that stuff. I think that's just their excuse to act out. I think that, you know, they just don't have father figures because black men are sleeping with the ugliest, disgusting women, having children, and then these children come out just as ugly and disgusting, you know, and their parents are doing drugs. Father leaves the home, and now the kids are just growing up with a mom who doesn't care, and they go to the streets, and they sell drugs, and they learn how to shoot guns. And then you see these videos online of black people at parties, literally women grinding on three, four-year-old kids twerking in front of them. It's disgusting and it's, it's, it's not right. And I feel so bad for these innocent, beautiful black children 
that uh, I seen these things because I remember as a child for me for me I had something similar kind of happen to me where I was exposed to sex at a young age and and it's it, and as a child you're so afraid of it because you don't know anything about it and so it just it's this thing in your head that is just the unknown and, and, and it makes you so uncomfortable as a child and it frightens you and, and, and it's not supposed to be near you. And so I can relate to these, you know, these kids where I watch these videos and these, they're, they're at a party and these, you know, like a home party and these black women are like grinding on them or twerking in front of them. They're all laughing and joking, but this shit psychologically affects these young kids. You know, they lose their purity, their innocence at such a young age. And, uh, you know, I don't hate black people for what they're doing, for, for shooting and causing so much disturbance in society. You know, it's, it's not, this is how they were raised. This is, this is how it, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a sad, but, uh, it's also very dangerous. And I just, I just want to talk to you guys about that because people don't talk about it. I mean, all these videos, all these events, all these killings, shootings, murders, robberies, theft, looting, all these things are going, are just happening. And, uh, there's no consequences seemingly. It's like, you know, black people don't care about how, 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 how what they do you know to what degree they go to because seemingly there's no consequences you know because it's happening so much it's 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 also sad when white people become racist because of what black people do you know you live in a certain it, it's very easy it's so easy to become racist i mean you live in a certain area that's filled with homeless people or black people and then all you see is black people you know misbehaving or homeless people you know trying to rob you or being non-productive just being wastes of life and then obviously you're gonna be like fuck these homeless people or you're gonna be like fuck these black people because all you see them do is misbehave but uh, it's also sad when people let that get to them and make them racist because that's a weak human a human that that gets raised that gets affected by his surroundings is is a weak human you know i could easily be like fuck black people for stealing my car that shit was a big ass deal i didn't have a car for like a week and a half but that's not the case you know i just took it as i was stupid enough to leave my car unlocked and they were smart enough to steal it it's my fault but uh yeah you know, guys don't become racist because a certain group is acting out towards you because you might be in a neighborhood where black people misbehave and they're ghetto and they're ratchet and they steal, they, they shoot and, and all this stuff. But maybe 10 miles down the road in a nicer neighborhood, there are beautiful black people and beautiful homeless, you know, fuck the homeless. But, uh, yeah, you know, just don't let that get to you guys. But those are some of the things I want to talk about today. Uh, yeah, let me know.